Hello beautiful Gemini and cross watchers, subscribers, and all new visitors. Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. Let's jump into this reading. This is a thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions reading for the person of interest. The overall energy or the messages from spirit actually are that you are in uncharted territory here, the uncharted sea. You are making your way, but how glorious is that? Isn't that a beautiful ship? It looks like a wonderful ride, my friends. That's what your person is expecting also. We see this very tender-hearted energy of the rose's kiss. So I would, um, I expect that you would probably get flowers from this person. It looks like they might like gardening. It looks as though they want something that's very romantic. And they also want to feel as though you are birds of a feather, that you have a lot in common. This person wants to share activities and interests and friends and adventures with you. The overall energy that they're coming to the reading with is a two of wands. They want to make a decision. They feel as though they are at a crossroads. They are very enthusiastic and very positive, upbeat about this new beginning with you, a passionate opportunity that they see with you. And they love the flow of energy between the two of you, the give and take, the flirting, the, you know, the little back and forth, the cute texting, but they like that energy. They like the equality that you're both on the same page. The energy that in terms of their thoughts, they see this relationship as being a possible twin flame relationship. They're what they feel, you know, in terms of their actions is that they're going to play it very cool. So this person's playing it very cool because they think that you are the love of their life. They feel as though they have to be cool. They have to be very sharp with the way they operate with you. They hold you in high regard. They feel as though you're the best of the best. That's Aries Emperor energy. So they put you on a pedestal, Gemini. Your person really feels as though you have a heart of gold. They are very mystified by you. They feel as though sometimes you talk a lot. Sometimes you go very quiet. Uh, and they, they find you elusive. They find you alluring. But they find you oh so attractive. The minute they saw you, there was something unusual usual about the way you look or the way you present yourself and they were just so drawn to it you know it's like that crack of lightning when somebody falls in love it's like I've been struck by love and it is nice they're in the energy their thoughts are that they really have been keeping their options open but they want to close out this cycle they want to elevate the relationship with you the card of the universe the world card is very much going to the next level leveling up in their heart space gemini they feel very balanced and they're feeling they're falling in love there's no question the two of cups energy cancerian energy they are falling in love they do feel as though they could nurture this relationship and that really is what they want to do they want to be balanced they want a very stable relationship Taurus energy, honey, I'm home. You're very much the energy of enjoying the good life, uh, having a beautiful home, having an abundant relationship, being able to do everything that you want to do, nice vacations. It's the daddy card. The Six of Swords tells us that your person in their heart space has done a significant amount of healing. And when they look at you, they just feel so charmed, the Sun card. They feel happy. They feel delighted. They feel like a day with you is like a day at the beach, that it's delightful, charming, and they want to have a lot more of it. They're also very romantically drawn to you. Uh, this is Leo energy. You know, it's fifth house romance, sex, 
fun, enjoyment, entertainment. Um, and in their heart space, we have the Two of Cups. They're, they feel as though you could be their potential mate, lifelong mate. The Death card says that they want the death of being single and that they have been reborn again in love after this period of healing. And they want this beautiful bride and groom gazing into one another's eyes, you know, being so enraptured. They're so charmed by you when you are having coffee or dinner or anywhere doing anything. They find themselves just gazing into your eyes, you know, maybe pushing the hair back off of your forehead, but they have a tremendous amount of sweet affection for you. It really is this energy of the rose's kiss. I think that they really like to kiss you. There's something about your lips and your smile that they find especially charming. Charming. In terms of their intentions, <clears throat> we see a person with great clarity. This person really, again, they find you divine partner. Their intention, this is a husband and wife card, so their intention is good. They really want to balance out the relationship. They want to make, they will make an offer. They are making an, a small offer in the near future. And it looks like it's probably a vacation or something. It could be a staycation, but it looks like a time in which you will spend a lot of time together doing just getting out and about. They want to really find out if there's compatibility with you. They feel as though they want to make sure that any partner they have tells the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. They have been burned in the past. They're healing. We can see that. Um, but their feeling is that they need to get to know you, get to know all about you. They are charmed by you, Gemini. In terms of their actions, they're at a little bit of a stalemate. They are not quite sure what your reactions are. They feel as though for some of you that you may have some hesitancy, but they want a victory with you. Spirit of Swords, very much that card of strategic mastery over obstacles. Your person loves, loves spending time with you. They want to take, they will take that leap of faith into the future with you. They are going to be a little bit guarded at first, which makes sense. You know, when you're in, in an uncharted sea, you don't like to expose yourself too much. But your person has great intentions. This is a person who is a truth lover. This is a person who wants victory with you in love. They want to introduce you, Gemini, to all of their friends, everyone they know. So let's go ahead and see how you're reacting to them at this time. Let's see how you're feeling. Uh, about the twin flame energy that they're bringing in. Okay, well, you don't want promises, you want delivery. You, you really are not going to invest much in anything other than action, um, but you have given up a lot of burdens. You're feeling a lot lighter. You're feeling more carefree with this person. You feel as though they're really good to be around, surprisingly so. We get the energy that you have this, you know, desire for romance. It looks like you're enjoying this person. You're not getting ahead of yourself. And we have the energy that of deep love. You want something very substantial, very significant. Somebody who can keep their cool. The high priestess is how they also see you. And you're maintaining a very uh, restrained, reserve way of communicating at this time. You do feel as though this person could be the one. And we also see the two of you just having so much fun, feeling like best friends, very much birds of a feather. You like their friends. They like your friends. You both like the activity. So when we look at you know, where you're at in terms of intentions. Well, right now you're taking a wait and see attitude. You're like, yeah, well, I've had other relationships before. I thought we're, you know, where the person was supposed to be the one and they weren't. Right now you're a little bit more aloof than they are. Some of you, not everyone, but some of you are maintaining 
um, and other relationships, you know, friendships, activities. You could still be dating someone else, but for the most part, I don't see you continuing that. You do like to be straightforward and honest, and this person is presenting a really good opportunity for you. We get the energy that your person absolutely, both of you share the desire to have the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Both of you have had the old bad experience that is clarifying this, that says that you've been led astray before, and both of you want this energy of balance, of equity, of fairness, and of potential long-term commitment. That's Libra energy, seventh house of marriage. The Eight of Wands says that both of you absolutely are super attracted, super charged. I think the two of you will love traveling together. And I have this energy for you that you two are probably in a healing mode at this time. So that is what I have for you, Gemini. It's been a joy. Please like, subscribe, share, send me, uh, tell me where you're from. I'd really like to know. The other thing I would like to know is that if you have a chronic problem in relationship that's stumping you, please state it below because I will address it. I'm de designing some new readings. So I thank you so much for your time. Bye-bye, Gemini. Thanks.